Hello everyone. Uh, hello everyone. This is John Jenkins, and uh, that's it. Yes. Hello everyone. This is John Jenkins, and I'm bringing you another video. Um. So I'm working on my operating system. I I I, I released the other video a couple of days ago. Yes, I'm working on my operating systems and so this one is going to be Python 3. So I have a lot more experience with Python 3 than I do with Ruby, but like I said Python like I said before Python 3 is, is a lot harder than Ruby to understand and there's a lot more well there's certainly a lot more features on it. It, it might not be more complicated automatically. It's actually really Python's really a lot easier than a lot than a lot of programming languages to learn. So it might not be automatically uh, more difficult than, than Ruby, uh, uh, but it there, there certainly is more potential for uh, difficulty because you know Python three is has millions of billions of uh, 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 libraries and and features and stuff like that. So. Uh, there is definitely the potential of making this Python 3 uh, operating system really complex and difficult but uh, they're both uh, they're both going to be using uh, uh, prompts they're both going to be using inputs they're both going to be using numbers and strings and they're both going to be um, doing a, a, a using regular expressions they're, they're both going to be using regular expressions so They'll be very, they'll be very similar in that respect. So here's the deal. I've got this, uh, I've got this, um, I've got this. I'm gonna start this Python 3 operating system right now. So, hold on a sec. Okay, so I've, I've made the file. I've made the file, so why don't I go on ahead and hold on a sec, okay. Why don't I go ahead and open up the file? This is the Python operating system JJ. So, first things first, um, dev changer. I keep, I keep naming the first function exchanger, it's a little, uh, it's a little convention that I came up with. Uh, back in the day, it could, it could change in the future, but uh, all right. So uh, why don't I change that now? <laughs> why don't I change that now? So why not, instead of it called this exchanger, why don't I just make it more descriptive and say login? Because login uh, login app login login app and um. Okay. Let's see. And with with a uh, with Python three indentation matters. Indentation is the only any way the only way to signify membership in a in a in a function. Uh, so you have to indent. So I'm gonna hit tab. Uh, print. Okay. Uh, like I like I said last time, I I, I keep I keep on a sec. Uh, I keep uh, I keep I put pregnant in there because somebody uh, uh, somebody once said that my words were pregnant. Somebody once said that, that, that my words were pregnant, and I think I thought that was I thought that was apt or very I don't know. Um, prophetic, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So my app. All right. So file save. File save as. 
play Dugga. So let's go synapses. Um, open system. Python. Okay. Hi. Okay. All right. So, um, I guess I don't have to go through all that because I know where the the folder is anyway. So, uh, not personal development, operating system, Python three. So let's see if this works on the first try. So the last thing worked. Yeah. So the last the Ruby one that I did uh, earlier worked on the first try, and so did this one. So it says. The word that I typed in there it says pregnant exclamation mark and um, and um, it says please press enter you press enter and that's the end of the program so let me add in my prompts and I, this is this is probably where I'm gonna make the mistake this is probably where I'm gonna make the mistake so uh, uh, Okay. Um, um, uh, S C R N M equals input. So it works a little bit different. Uh, please add in your. It it does. Over, uh, in the end it works the same way as it does in Ruby because there's no it doesn't skip a line it's basically the same thing as in, uh, basically if you're doing gets it's the same thing as doing input uh, because it's it's the same effect but it's, it's it, it it works a little bit different on the programming side so and uh, and, and please uh, uh, type in your screen name okay Okay. Okay. Uh, S C R N equals. So I'm gonna type this. I'm gonna type this as a, as a. Uh, I'm gonna type this. Uh, I'm gonna type this as. I guess. I guess this will be called coercion. So I'm gonna type this as a string because this happens. This happens to be a billion times where the program won't work and I have no idea what's going wrong. And then afterwards, I find out it's because I uh, I didn't I didn't explicitly say it was a string and it, and it, and it, it took it it took it as a an integer or something like that or some some different. So um, uh, password equals Input. Please type in your password. And uh, let me let me. Yeah, why don't I put that in there? So I don't have this. The, so I don't have the same problem that I had before. Okay. And okay, all right, validate. Validate. I'll, I'll just say validate one, just in case that's an that's an internal uh, function. <laughs> that's a reserved uh, 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 function name. I I don't know. I don't know, but it seems like it might be. So uh, S C R N M pass word. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Definitely. Okay. All right. Um, def. Okay. Uh, uh, so 
now I'm, I so I, I call this I call the validate one function right here and now I actually have to write the validate function so that the computer knows what it's looking for and let's go ahead and write this validate one function um, uh, S -E -R -N -N -K, uh, S -E -R -E -N one equals John J. Make sure I type this as a uh, string. Uh, uh, one equals print You know, I, I, I was just thinking, I was just thinking that I don't, I don't have to put a print function. I can just put an input function, but I might want to keep the two separate because they, they mean different things. So, uh, uh, gets equals input, um, uh, enter. Okay. Else, okay. uh, print uh, I'm telling mom so all right, so I know it sounds I know it sounds uh silly. But uh, now this is this is where I probably made the uh, mistake. This is where I'll probably get the the uh, error message or the or the or the thing will uh, not run. So do I have this open? No, I do not have. Uh, I do not have that open. Operating system, Python three. Okay. No, so I made a I made a mistake. So let's open up the Python three interpreter and figure out where I made the mistake. And um, yeah, so I made a mistake. Um, yeah. So okay. All right, so invalid syntax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, now that hits hard because, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So I put the double ampersand here with that. That works in, uh, that works in JavaScript and in uh, uh, Ruby, but in uh, Python, you've just put and. In Python, you just put and. Okay, so. Uh, what's your screen name? John J. Where's your password? What's your name? You put chocolate in my peanut butter. Okay, definitely. So, let's load it up again and see what happens when I put in the wrong screen name and password. 
Okay, Margarella. And in password, uh, I'll put. Okay, I'm telling mom on you. So these are these are two different. This is this is the the successful message, and this is the unsuccessful message. So uh, it looks like it's working well. Um. Yeah, it looks like it's working well. So I, I, I've, I've, I've got the first two operating systems started. <laughs> I've got the first two operating systems started. And obviously I'm gonna add it to where, you know, like with, with, modern, with modern passwords, they have it where you, where you, you have to have, you know, at least one number, at least one special character, at least one capital, at least one lowercase. It has to be a certain number of, of characters. It can't be all numbers. Can't be all all alphabetical numbers. Alphabetical characters. And uh, you know, certain it can't it can't be a you know a common password. It can't be you can't just say one two three uh, at you know one two three at Password, or you, say, you can't do anything. Right. So, uh, uh, so, um, so very various issues, various issues that can come up, and um, yeah. So that's all I wanted to say is that I've got these two operating system videos and I'm gonna keep going and I guess next one is the is the HTML5 and uh, JavaScript version and then after that I'll do the uh, action script version but other than that thanks everyone for watching and have a great day and goodbye okay so exit that and